What's up guys, Joey here with awesomecameras.com and got another comparison video for you. Today we look at the Yashica T4, um, goes along with the series we're doing here, and just a random point and shoot I picked out of some cameras I had laying around, it was a Pentax IQ Zoom 735. Uh, it's just a cheap kind of run of the mill Pentax point and shoot. Uh, I went out with my buddy Adam, Adam Mulligan. He's uh, kind of come aboard. He's going to be helping us out on some videos and stuff. Um, we went out just around Ventura, just testing out the cameras and see how they compare. Uh, the film we're using is Fuji C200, which I've actually personally never used before uh, until now. And uh, I've just been hearing a lot about it. So I saw some for sale and grabbed it. And here we go.
All right, guys, what'd you think? I think we have a clear winner here. The T4 just overall outperformed this Pentax. The Pentax did have a few shots that were a little bit sharper in focus, um, more when the subject was further away, um, and anything backlit on this Pentax for some reason just looked horrible. Not sure if it was just this copy or maybe just the coating on the lens is just no good or what, who knows, but uh, I was definitely expecting a lot better from it. That being said, I did expect the T4 to outperform this Pentax. Um, just, I thought they'd be a little closer. So what did you guys think? Uh, leave it in the comments below. Any particular photos stand out to you in any way? Um, let us know in the comments. Uh, we read them. We read the comments and usually reply. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you dig what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up if you hate it. Thumb us down, give us a thumbs down. See if we care. Uh, and subscribe, if you're not already, click the subscribe button, subscribe. And uh, as always, you can find us and all things Awesome Cameras related at awesomecameras.com.